Hey, Imani, I guess it's Iowa guy. You're not used to the snow out here, I'm assuming. Uh, so good luck out there. Uh, I, I was going to ask you about uh, you had a pick against the 49ers, uh, nearly had one uh, on Sunday. Is that a result maybe of some film study, things kind of starting to feel good for you? What, what's maybe attributed to being in the right place here recently, especially? Um, yeah, I mean, I guess just doing my job. And then on top of that, just film study and believing what I see, believing what um, I've seen all week and uh, what we've been practicing. And uh, last week, I should have had one and went through my hands. But um, yeah, just making sure I'm in the right place at the right time. When, you, when you're unable to get one like that, I mean, how much you beat yourself up over that and, and pretty quickly turn your attention to, to what's next? I mean, it went through my hands. Not much I could do about it. I mean, I'm not going to beat myself up much. I mean, too much about it. I got more opportunities, more games to play, and uh, more good snaps I can play. Teron? Yeah, Monty, uh, the run defense, you know, that's something uh, that you as a, a unit, you know, you guys are really doing well with that. The DB room, how much is that something that, you know, you guys make a, an effort to really focus on just tackling and making sure that that last line is, is secure? Yeah, we know our up front and our front seven is going to do a great job of um, stopping the run and plugging up gaps. And as our job is to come up and make tackles, you know, that's very important to limit the big plays. Um, we don't want to cross over, you know, we don't want to fall off a diving board, as we call it. Um, you just want to stay on your feet, you know, get the guy down and we'll play for another down if it does break one free for a little bit. Uh, Paul? Hey, uh, wondering how much you've dealt with Jim Schwartz this year. Has he, has he approached you about technique? Do you see him around the DBs? Has he come into your meeting room? Um, yeah, he's been around. Um, he is, he's not so much like technique wise stuff, but as far as scheme, um, what they like to do, um, why we're doing certain things on defense, why the offense is doing certain things as far as opposing offenses, why they're doing it to us. Um, but yeah, not so much like him teaching me, you know, techniques and stuff, but more of like conceptual, conceptual um, play details and all that type of stuff. Thanks. Yep. Uh, Luke? Monty, what, what's changed for you guys in the secondary with the way that the front four has been consistently getting home this year? Making sure that we know we have great communication. We know our front seven is going to do some work up there. Our front four is going to do some work uh, on the offensive line. We just got to make sure that on the back end, you know, we're able to do our job. We're on top of routes. You know, we're able to cover up some routes that, you know, make a quarterback have to pump it. And then that gives opportunity for the front, front forward and, you know, get a sack. So it's all complimentary. And I think we've been doing a great job so far. Hey, have there been times where you've been able to take more chances or be more aggressive knowing that, you know, there's less time you have to fill maybe? Um, yeah, I mean, we know when we can take chances, um, depending on what teams are giving us and what, they, they, what they've been showing um, in previous weeks. So um, if our keys are right, if um, we see what we believe and we're playing the percentages, you know, we, we'd like to, you know, play that very aggressive. Uh, Kayla? Yeah, Monty, uh, Coach Vrabel said after the game on Sunday and then again yesterday, I emphasize winning takes care of everything. Obviously, you guys control things headed into this game, control your future in the playoffs um, in terms of position. So how much you guys embrace that this week and, and just what has the focus been like around the facility? Obviously, there's been a lot of news with the Derrick front, but how do you stay focused? Um, looking at Just looking at the game in front of us. Um, don't get caught up in the noise. Um, whatever, like you said, winning takes care of everything. Everything that we want to happen that will – happen for us will come with winning. Um, and I think that's the focus of all the guys. And I think we're all locked in. We're all bought into that. Uh, last two, uh, Teron. Jeffrey Simmons, after the game uh, uh, last week, he, he said that, you know, a lot of the sacks were, were covered sacks. That's definitely something we didn't hear last season. So, you know, for you guys in the secondary, what has changed to where those things are, are, are more frequent, the covered sacks are happening more? Um, confidence and uh, communication, everyone be on the same page. Um, I mean, we got guys that are yelling out, you know, plays that we've seen and they end up running the same plays. Um, so it's just a great, great communication overall, um, not just on the back end, but with the linebackers and the D-line as well, um, just everyone working together. Uh, Jim? And no matter how much different do they look now compared to when you faced them last month? I know the quarterback is different. Uh, you know, and appear to be doing some different things from a defensive standpoint. What's the challenge this week compared to last last time you faced the Texans? 
Uh, last time, you know, uh, Tyrod was able to, you know, get out the pocket and use his feet and use that uh, mobility, which uh, really hurt us in the red zone. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a little different, uh, more of a more drop pack, not so much RPOs um, coming from them, but it's a little different, but still have the same, the same stuff they, you know, they've been doing the game, game before. And, and I kidded you at the beginning about the snow. I know you're from Minneapolis and from Iowa. Yeah. Do you have any teammates that uh, that are seeing the snow today and, and hadn't really seen a snowstorm before, guys from Florida, or from the south? Uh, my man's Dane. He's he's been here for four years. And I, he said this is the most he's seen the snow. So my man's Dane, this is this is the most snow he's seen, three four inches right now. <laughs>